so this is the camera that I have I'll put a picture of the specs up on screen right now so for those of you wondering yes I did get the Rebel T7 from Canon it is a very nice looking camera I got the premium kit because I wanted the bigger lenses do not actually care for the bag and I'll get into that right now you guys are probably wondering what comes in the rebel t7 kit so you get this bag which I personally do not like at all so I haven't been using that I've actually been using this which is a GoPro accessories kit and I just um, took out the foam so I put this in there and then I have my little mini tripod that came with my DJI uh, Osmo 4 I believe it's called I'm pretty sure that's what it's called anyways so I have this that I use for my accessories then the lens that comes in there is the 75 to 300 which is a decent lens um, I will try and find a photo to put up on screen right now that came from this lens and then you also get this little lens which it's good lens too I use this one mainly for shooting cars um, as you guys would know if you follow me on Instagram so this here is the 18 to 55 as you can see I'm in manual focus but with the stabilizer I actually sh started shooting in manual like the second or third day that I had this camera so that's kind of cool at least for me it is then you also get the battery with the battery charger in it or I don't think it came in the charger but you do get a battery and a charger then you get the camera body this comes it doesn't come pre-assembled so you have to take this off or you have to put this on to the camera if you want it on there it's a very nice camera for shooting for beginners when I ordered the camera the whole kit I ordered a spare set of batteries now I used this once so far when I was in Sanibel so in total I've used this like once or twice I think since I've had it I think I used these mainly just to set up the camera so I could let the other battery charge and then I also ordered a tripod I ordered a rain cover for it that was a pain in the butt and I didn't end up using it I ended up just shooting with the camera and it got a little bit wet which surprisingly thankfully mainly this thing did not get ruined I like it I had to wipe off the lens a couple of times for the rain photography but other than that it was pretty good and I've used this camera quite a bit since I've had it I've had it Let's see, this is the end of September, and I got it at the beginning of September, so about a month. Oh, I also ordered the hot shoe mount for it, and I haven't really used that yet. I don't know how it's going to look, so I haven't wanted to use it. And the other reason I haven't used it is because my GoPro is broken. The GoPro works, but I just don't use it. So anyways, the camera is a um, Rebel T7. This came with the batteries actually, and it also has a port to plug into so you can charge it in the car. And I'm going to pack it all back up the way I would normally have it so that you guys can see it that way too. So it is a little cramped, but the zipper does close. So in the top here, I've got an SSD, which I happen to get on clearance that was not marked as clearance for eleven dollars it's a 256 gigabyte ssd for those of you that know how good of a deal that is 
it's a really good deal for those who don't. Now, I happen to have this beforehand, but I ordered an SD card with the camera. Then I also have a microfiber cloth for cleaning my lenses. Then, for the top here, I put my little mini tripod in here with a phone mount and then the cord for the battery charger to make it a car output or car input and then the batteries then the massive lens which as you can see takes up most of the storage and the little lens covers and then i just leave my camera like this for traveling now this i left out because i normally charge the battery before I go out anywhere. I mean, you'd be kind of dumb not to. If I do happen to want to take this with, it's just another thing that would sit on, could sit on top or be in a backpack. So, now when I went down to Sanibel, I had, I didn't do any of this organizational stuff. I had all this in a ziplock like bag that came for the batteries actually no it came for the ring covers so i had all this like in a um like ziploc bag so it was all a mess and this just looks so much more organized and helps me stay better organized back to the battery so i have not charged this battery with the other charger because the simple fact of I don't want to I feel like it's better off if I just charge it with the charger it came with it's a safer option for the battery and the longevity of it I guess and this camera has had like three different batteries in it the one that came from the Canon itself and then the other two that are my separate batteries that are in here so that concludes my video about the canon rebel t7 if you guys want to see some photos of it go check my instagram out not photos of the camera but photos from the camera go check out my instagram link is actually below too i think i put it in all of my descriptions so link should be below and catch y'all later. Peace.